All right, so what we're going to take a look at first here is simplifying the layout of the site. We're going to jump into edit website, website pages. Here within the website page editor, we're going to be able to manage each page that our site has enabled, which is going to determine the navigation menu of our site. And at this point, what you want to think about is what the focus of your website is going to be. Right, some people have a focus on showcasing blank products with the ability to decorate. I would say that's the primary uh, use case. But there are, all, there are also um, users who want to focus on pre-decorated goods. Right, these are things like maybe you run um, you know, fashion lines or, or um, you, know, you have your own brand and you just want to sell those pre-designed uh, pre products through the Deco Network system. Uh, so in our case, we're doing the, the first option where we're looking to showcase our blanks with the option to decorate and submit your own design for, uh, for production. So we're going to jump into the pages section here on the left-hand side. And we want to start turning off some of these pages that uh, aren't required for the workflow that we want our consumer to follow, right? Um, and this is, again, just about simplifying the process for your customer. You don't want them landing on a site with all of these different options available. Uh, it just creates additional funnels for them to kind of get lost through, right? So you want to really uh, put a bit of focus on the site and guide them through the exact process that you want to follow. So we're going to jump into the page labeled products. The, uh, the page labeled products is actually the system decorated products page. Uh, these three system pages have a little icon next to them. You can hover over that icon to get detail uh, about that specific page. So this is the system decorated products page. Uh, on this page only, decorated products have the ability to uh, paginate. So uh, you've got, uh, you know, the, the page numbering down at the bottom uh, and you can switch between, you know, page one through page 50 or however many you have. Uh, and that's the same for, for all these different sections. So the create page is your system blank products page and the designs page is, is the system designs page. So we're going to turn off the products page. Um, we can turn a page off by coming here down at the bottom control bar in the website pages editor clicking advanced settings and switching the page status from on to off. Uh, you do want to make sure to hit save to apply that change. And then we can jump over to the next page we're going to turn off, which is our designs page. Advanced settings and set the page status to off, saving the change along the way. All right, now let's go ahead and click create. So we're going to manage the create page, but we're going to leave this one on, right? This is the one where, uh, our site is going to focus on showcasing this page here. Uh, I am going to relabel the page. So even though it's called create by default, uh, I could come in here and call this products. If I want to have a products page, I could call it, uh, you know, product selection, our products. It's up to you what you want that page to be called. But it, uh, the thing you'll just want to keep in mind is that that specific system page has a single function of being your, your decorative, I'm sorry, your blank product listing. All right, so um, yeah, I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to go with our products for uh, my example here. Um, now, as far as the layout that you want for the blank products page, uh, you know, I've seen people set it up a variety of different ways. Um, my recommendation would be to, um, you know, delete maybe this drop down category widget that's at the top. Um, the listing itself, we can click into it. Uh, and there's a variety of options that you can take a look at as far as the design of this listing. Uh, you know, you can do things like determine whether the product code is going to show, um, whether the product colors are going to show. I think some of that is, it's nice to have, but it's also, it, it adds a lot of noise. So I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of that information for my example. I'm also going to hide prices from this page here. Uh, I'm going to hide the add to cart button. So really what I want is just to kind of entice the customer to uh, pick a product, jump into the product page, and that's really where I'm going to try to make the sale. I don't necessarily try to make the sale here on the listing page. All right, so I'm also going to um, hide sizes for now. I'm just going to leave the thumbnail and the name of the product. I can also change the size of the thumbnail here under the thumbnail size option. 
uh, and I'm going to bring that down to 250 pixels wide. All right, so I'm happy with uh, with that listing. Um, the other thing that I recommend, because we've set up that nice category structure that we want our customer to follow, uh, one option that you can consider is the display as categories option. Switching that to always makes it so that your customer has that kind of uh, uh, nested navigation where you know they'll come onto the products page they'll click t-shirts then they'll see men's women so they'll kind of you know um, go through that structure all the way until they find a list of products that they can choose from so that's uh, certainly a nice option the alternative if you want to kind of just showcase blanks would be to add in a side column and you can add a, add a side column by adjusting the row settings you could either turn that row into a two column row or you could set the uh, fixed column uh, to on for that uh, row. And that's going to add this little side column here for you to drop widgets onto. So I'm going to turn that fixed side column on. And as far as which widget you may want to use, um, you could take a look at a couple of widgets. Um, you could do blank product categories, which is going to reflect that category structure that we set up earlier. Uh, you can also do, if you have access to it, the blank product filter widget. Um, now this, I believe, is not available to customers on the one site plan. Uh, but if you're on a premium plan, you do have this filter widget available. Uh, and this is definitely a nice option um, if you have the uh, the multi-store plan. This is you know similar to what you see on other e-commerce platforms where you your consumer can... Uh, browse and filter by specific attributes of items like which size it's available in, uh, which color it's available in, things like that. Uh, and this can also be customized. Uh, you can determine, you know, which filters you may want to display. Uh, for example, I may not want to display the, the text search or the price search. Um, and you can also relabel the section. So manufacturer, I may want to relabel as brand. So I could jump in and make that change. All right, so I'm happy with that. So I'll save the products page. Uh, and then the last thing here, I'm going to quickly go through the remaining pages that I want to turn off. Uh, so designer, um, I don't necessarily want to turn off, but I'm just going to hide it from the navigation menu by unchecking this show in menu option here at the bottom control bar of the page editor. About page, I'm going to go ahead and leave on. So that's going to be an opportunity for me to tell the customer a little bit about uh, the business and the services that we offer. The contact page will also leave on. Uh, the request a quote page, because my site is going to focus on e-commerce, I'm going to go ahead and turn off. Uh, but you may elect to leave this on. All right, and the last page that we'll take a look at here is quick quote. Uh, once again, my focus is on e-commerce, so I'm going to turn this page off and really funnel that customer through that single Our Products page, which is what I want them to, to browse. All right, now if we revisit the homepage, which we didn't really take a look at, the homepage is your opportunity to kind of catch the customer's eye and get them to browse through to the, uh, you know, the next step. Uh, which in my case would be my products page. Um, so I think um, you kind of want to reduce the, um, you don't want to have too much noise on the homepage, um, but you do want to have some call to action, right? So it's uh, usually the banner at the top is a great place to do it. Um, you may also want to list some products on there. Uh, I'm going to leave this latest products widget down here at the bottom. I'll just make some quick adjustments to reduce the amount of information there, just like I did on my products page. Uh, another nice widget to include is you, you know, your social media links, uh, Instagram to bring in the, some additional content for your brand. I'm going to remove that for now. All right, so let's go ahead and publish the changes to the website here. And I think as far as the site, we're good to go on in terms of layout.